Okay, I think this is probably my tenth video of uh, the series on doing the EV. So I'm kind of doing it piece by piece. But now I've got the battery connector on for the DC charging. And I just uh, basically cut a little, one of those little slots out, bolted that on. <sighs> and you can kind of see in behind, I had a little plastic uh, piece left over for some electrical stuff we were doing so I just used that to back that up and bolted it right to the plastic and it's in there nice and solid and then you can see how the uh, battery cables that's the uh, negative cable and this is the positive run over here on this side comes around the thing is <clears throat> It was a little long and I wanted to run it uh, along and come into the back. This is the positive connector right here. So I kind of wanted to run it at a different angle, but it was a little long for that. So I ran it <coughs> around, basically that tube I put in there, ran it around and then come in from the back side and over, tie into the positive. So it works just fine that way <clears throat> this other cable here this is a uh, basically a trailer light set i bought for my rear lights i've got those on but uh the issue with that is when i was holding them up here this uh seemed like a good idea but actually they just touch those tires when this uh bed is up so i, I was holding them up in there maybe a little bit farther when i was originally testing this but then i had to bring them down some so i get those bolts through so that doesn't really work and it also makes the bed uh, really hard to get on there with those on uh, if you've ever tried to put this bed on here you know what i meant at any rate so i need to change that we'll look at that again but uh, i've got the batteries in they're all basically strapped down like i said and then they go down go through the little hooks down there and then hook down on this side I've got the battery cables or the uh, I should say the motor cables which are these right here coming off the motor and those run down now, as I said before I'd have both batteries connected to one because of the drive shaft and they just uh, lay right in there just fine and the straps basically keep the uh, cables from moving over towards the drive shaft on the other side and then this negative cable here which goes around to that side i just use the original cables so that's a negative and instead of going straight down i just go straight back around and over to that battery so the batteries are all in series so basically the positive starts here so it goes positive negative positive negative goes to that one goes to that one and then it goes across it jumpers uh, these back ones which you can see is that red cable there going across to the other side and then it goes to that battery this battery this battery and then this battery and it ends up on the negative here and there's your negative the black one going back around to the controller so uh actually i haven't tied this one down yet i was playing that's the uh, battery temp sensor so when i charge these I'll, sh I'll do a video showing how i plug this in but basically uh, uh it's just a heavy uh, duty high amp uh, plug that pops together and then it'll connect to a, uh basically an out flex max 80 outback uh, charge controller and i can charge these uh, right off of my solar panels i'll just basically steal some juice during the middle of the day and three hours these babies will be charged up so yeah i thought i'd have a good uh, shot well there's one on the other side let's walk around the other side we can kind of see how that light uh, interferes there <clears throat> all i did was take some uh, trailer lighting stuff it up under there where it just needs a positive and negative and uh oh, gee. okay there's my plug so basically uh, just plugs in right there the wiring comes up goes across the rail comes around comes in right here and i just uh put a little uh 
block there and wire everything into that one block and then these wires run up to the front so it's a switch I've got a switch on the dash so I've got a positive and negative there that goes to the front and then the other one is a switch for the rear lights and that's what these switches are I've got here on the dash and then I put a light on the side here which uh, I kind of figured it'd be nice to have something uh, external which I could just flick on and leave on uh, those are wired so that you could leave them on all the time if you uh, made that mistake but I don't think you will because they're pretty bright so once you turn them on you're gonna know you got them on anyway so here's the batteries that I've got in here now L16H-AC deep cycle 6 volts so those in series gives you 48 volts and you know it really doesn't make a, uh, any difference as how the EV works except the batteries the range is really all it changes and the weight it did change the stance a little bit let me just close this for a minute there's really nothing else to see in here change the stance some so uh, maybe you can see if you look at how your the, your uh, arms are on your lower upper and lower rear control arms there it sits a little bit lower than what it did before actually handles better even though there's more weight and those lights put out a quite a bit of light so a backup light in a sense and I just made some blanks I think it was just some little two inch strips and on the back side I just used a little half inch tube and made a little bracket to fit to the back but like I said uh, they uh, touched the tire so it doesn't really work quite the way I wanted it to I don't have to move those but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do there exactly and then I just put a switch uh, so I've got one switch for the back one switch for the light in the front so there you are of course it doesn't show you much during the middle of the day but at any rate those are on and independent of everything else just come off the fuse just fuse over there right behind that block and uh, so those are always hot and then that's a battery temp sensor which I I'll probably use that It'd be a good idea and I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it I'll probably run it and come around and come back over here next to this other block and then have an extension from there up to the charge controller so I can just plug that in it's really just a telephone cord is the way it's made so I'll have a connector tie wrap it to one of those uh, wires but at any rate it turned out really good it's a little tight up in there but uh, as you can see everything fits right in there it looks nice uh, all I got to do now is uh, get up underneath uh, I got still got to put that bottom skid plate and kind of see where the metal ends I'll cut the uh, plastic skid plate so it fits right up to it got to tie wrap those wires up underneath <laughs> quite finished I've got a little extra wire here I've got to cut off but I just ran those down they just go down next to the uh, steering so I've got to tie wrap a little bit more and make sure everything's uh, out of the way and that's another issue on that uh, maybe some people have run into that for right there where that steering shaft comes out touches your wiring harness right there so it doesn't seem like it's done anything to it yet it's been six years but uh, I heard other people have shorts so that's a uh, one area you need to look at at any rate and my other just comes across uh, right there is a wire just comes across so it comes over I got uh, 12 volts positive and negative here and then I go through a switch and the pot just the positive go through a switch over to the light and same thing on the rear so I just send a positive back to the back and then the negative is already back there so and then I've got an extra wire so I've got one extra wire that I can use for whatever I want so that's where I'm at at the moment and I haven't uh, 
I'm gonna have to make some uh, the right cables for my winch which I'll just run down along the bottom on top of the skid plate and up to the batteries and connect to uh, two batteries to give me 12 volts to the winch so eventually I want to get some cables for that I'll wire that in but the uh, main thing I want to be able to charge it and get some extra lighting on here so I've completed that I'll do another video when I get the charge controller in but it's looking good everything is working and uh, you know it runs fine I don't uh, really have an issue with it uh, change the oil in the rear end I think the rear ends uh, give me some problems I don't know if I'll have to take it apart and have it rebuilt or or what but we'll find out there'll be another video on down the road the main thing was getting it uh, working and getting it out on the road and playing with it some make sure everything's working okay my lighting and everything's working so I've got to that point so we'll do another video and follow up on that when we get to it so thanks for watching have any friends interested in an EV I would say this Polaris is uh, uh, 170 180 hours on it something in that range and uh, this is really the first thing I've actually done to it it's still got the original tires original brakes uh, haven't really done had to do much as far as maintenance goes so this is really the only major uh, thing I've done to it since I've owned it so I don't feel too bad about that and batteries go bad anyway it's uh, six years in or more on the batteries so that's expected going to such a big battery uh, it was a little uh, worry uh, for the weight but uh, I don't see how that's causing a big problem maybe you don't have to uh, put as much weight in the back or don't want to as you would normally it hold 500 pounds and maybe now I'll, uh, never want to put more than 100 200 pounds in it but uh, generally uh, I pull a trailer around and a yard trailer and stack limbs or rocks or dirt or whatever I have on that big trailer instead of trying to pile it all in the back of this most of the stuff I put in the back of this is smaller stuff uh, maybe rocks and stuff but uh, not necessarily a whole lot of weight uh, I don't like that weight way up high anyway so generally uh, I'd rather have my yard trailer out here from putting heavy stuff moving uh, concrete blocks or whatever it is I usually try to use a big trailer because it does seem to pull uh, weight without uh, any real problem so uh, this is about all I can say about it for the time being until I get my front winch uh, done and we actually do a charge on it one time right now they're still full so I'll have to uh, run it for a while and see uh, see about how many hours I got out of it since you can't really measure the mileage and then we'll do a video on that so thanks for watching